Hey, what's going on everybody? Chris Chavez here again with Fandra.com taking a look at the Chromecast. Uh, yesterday I gave you guys a very quick unboxing and just showed you guys what the hardware looked like. But today I'm going to go through the entire setup process to show you guys what you can expect once yours arrives. They started shipping out as early as yesterday and some of them will be arriving as early as tomorrow. So this will be kind of a quick walkthrough so you guys can see how easy it is to set it up and if there are any hiccups involved. I haven't even tried this at all so uh, bear with me as I completely uh, go through this unedited. So here's the Chromecast. We're going to pop it out of the box. Little guy here. Uh, the Chromecast, you need to uh, connect this to the HDMI port on your TV back there, and I'll take you behind there in a second. Uh, for now, I am just going to grab... Actually, I don't need any of this stuff right now because I already have a, a power cable that I use for my HTC Media Link. And it, I mean, I guess it works very similar in this exact same way. So here's this here, and before you actually even plug this into your TV, you might want to jump on over to, let me zoom in here a little, uh, your Google Chrome web store. So first you got to actually use the Google Chrome web browser. This doesn't work with any other web browser, so if you're using Internet Explorer, uh, heaven help you, or even Firefox, you're going to want to download uh, Google Chrome, and that's from google.com slash backslash chrome if you don't already have it. Uh, once you have that installed and running on your computer, open up the Chrome web browser. It looks like this little ball right there. Do you guys see the little Pokeball? Colorful little rainbow Pokeball. And uh, you're going to type in Google Cast under extensions. So you go to Chrome.com web store category. I guess you can just do, let me <laughs> go to Google.com first. And google.com backslash Chrome will take you to the download, to download Chrome. This is on my Mac, of course. You would download and install it. Uh, from there, to get to your extensions, you go to google.com backslash, actually, just go to google.com. This is what I always seem to do. And just type in Chrome extensions. And it'll be their very first search result. Extensions for Chrome, click that, and it takes you to the Chrome Web Store. Now, there's a bunch of little extensions and things you can install on top of Chrome, uh, like Google Hangouts and whatnot. We're going to need Google Cast, and that's the ability for us to take these videos and project them onto our television once we get the, the Chromecast up in there. Why it's called Google Cast and not Chromecast, I do not know, but we're going to add this to Chrome. Uh, access DS, that's fine. And bloop, little extension just pops up right there. I'm going to reorganize this a little bit. So when you click that, it'll beam what you're looking at on your video, whatever you have on here, onto your television. And uh, yeah, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go to the TV now. Let me grab my little Chromecast. What is it? I lost it. I totally lost it. Oh, it's back here. Okay. Move this out of the way. Now, excuse my house. I actually just moved into a new place, so um, I f don't really have much furniture other than just a, a blow-up blow up sofa. I'm going to unplug this. This is to my HTC Media, Le Media Link. And it's probably going to get a little bit dark back here. Let's see if I can't brighten it up a little bit. There, there we go. And this sucker is going to go right into the HDMI port. Uh, it's hard holding a camera and doing both. Right? You just go on the HDMI port, buddy. Ah, Alright, there we go. And I have a uh, power cable that I use from my little Andrew down there. And this is gonna hopefully reach. Yeah, it looks like you're doing alright. And plug these little micro USB cable into, probably should have done that ahead of time. It looks like there's a little hump. Oh, there we go. All right, well, pretty easy. Fire up the TV. I should go to the appropriate um, input. You can see I got my little Apple TV over there too. The only reason I ever even used that was just to project or um, used it for AirPlay on my Mac, which was just a screencast, whatever I was doing onto the Apple TV so I could watch like Hulu and stuff. And yep, oh, looks like it's going up. Okay, so 
Here we go. Let's just sit back. You guys can sit back down with me while we kind of go through this whole setup process. Adjust the color a little bit. Okay, set me up. Uh, my setup name is Chromecast32. On your laptop, go to. Ta da! So the TV is telling us to go to google.com backslash Chromecast slash setup. I always say backslash, but apparently it's forward slash. We're welcome. Let's get you set up and watch and download the app to set up your new Chromecast. I think I already downloaded that, right? Oh, it's a Chromecast app. So it's a separate application for Mac. Uh, don't look at that. Okay. So verify. I just downloaded the app for the Mac. You just install it by dragging it into your applications folder. And that looks fine to me. Chromecast setup. Oh, here we go. So easy. So easy on a Mac. Drag it to applications and you are pretty much set to go. There we go. Hit accept. It's got the little Chromecast. My setup name is 3280. That's what the TV says. Uh, now let's get Chromecast 3280 connected to your wireless network. Your internet connection may be temporarily unavailable, but it'll be back in a snap. Okay. Probably have to enter, I'm guessing, my uh, Wi Fi password. Change the input on your TV until you see the setup screen with this code on it. Oh, yeah, it's already there. Um, if you can't see it, let's just zoom up a little bit there. A4C2. A4C2. My code is different. That's my code. Wireless network. Um, you guys can't see my keyboard, right? All right, let's get the wireless network in there. Mine is redonkulous. So this will take just a second. Chromecast name, uh, I'm going to change the name to Living Room. Chromecast Living Room, because I plan on getting more of these in the near future and I'm gonna put those upstairs as well so let's uh, name everything appropriately continue Chromecast is droning in network alright you can zoom this back a little bit you have successfully set up Chromecast start using it oh wait I don't want to watch the tutorial yet get apps. So I already have some of these apps installed on my device. I mean, it looks like it's going. We're going. We're ready to Chromecast. So now you can use your uh, Android device. Let me just zoom up here and get back on the Chromecast. Try to reduce that flicker a little bit. Uh, you can use your Android device to uh, Chromecast on specific applications. So like if you have YouTube, uh, that can be done. Uh, if I go to YouTube, I can. This is probably the easiest way to get up and running with Chromecast. Uh, I mean, I guess this is what most people are going to do. So uh, you have Phone Cats. I love that guy. Felicia Day recorded something crazy. Let's go ahead and start playing this. And it works very similar to the way you would see it on your. Uh, on your PlayStation, your PlayStation, your Xbox, or actually your PS4 has, or PS3 has the same functionality. 
uh, a little button that you press and it beams it onto there. So right now it's on my phone. I want to beam it onto the Chromecast living room. And just like that, it should start firing up on the living room TV. Now the benefit of this, of course, is that you don't need to, yep, oh, there it goes. In really crappy standard definition. Maybe she uploaded in standard def. Uh, so from there, you can see the little uh, timer, the jogger, jog thing is still running, but the video is not running on your device, so your phone's not going to get all hot and crazy while you're trying to watch HD videos, which means it's awesome because you can watch videos on your TV without, you know, decreasing your battery life or just, you know, destroying your phone's battery. And uh, there's a now playing down here. You can see your TV queue, which is pretty darn handy. Uh, and you can even go to like other applications. So you can still jump into something else while that video is playing and go back into your uh, the application you were using. Now playing, boom, simple as that. So that works with this, it works with Netflix. Uh, there's specific apps on Android that it works with, but I wanna see how it works with uh, just like the internet. If it's able to screencast what I have on here onto the television, kind of like the Apple TV. That was the whole reason why I bought a $100 Apple TV. So I'm gonna click the screencast button. Uh, screencast to the living room. Cast this tab. And just like that, you have whatever you're doing on your computer is working on, oh. So there's a slight delay, but it's working on your TV. Now let's see how it works with a video. So we're gonna get really meta here and uh, play a video from a video inside of a video. <laughs> and does the volume work? Ah, oh, my TV's not, the volume's not on, but theoretically everything should work just fine. I don't even have the volume for my television, but there it goes. It looks like it's running just fine. Video on video on video. And then of course you could go full screen on this tab here. And it goes full screen over there.